to do when you're bored video. So let's just get into it. So the first thing that I have on my list is crocheting. Crocheting is such a fun hobby and you get to make lots of personalized clothes, items, and accessories that you can give to your friends or you can just keep them for yourself. So these are just a few ideas that I had, but you can find lots of free patterns and tutorials on YouTube or different websites. Okay, so this is a little tutorial of how to make this little crochet heart. And you can just like add it to like your backpack or something as a keychain or something, or you can crochet around it and maybe make like a bigger crochet project there's a lot of tutorials on youtube that you can use which could be helpful so all you really need is some yarn and a hook of your choice but but depending on the yarn that you use and the hook size that you use your project might come out smaller or bigger so let me just take some yarn. Take some yarn. So first we're going to take the yarn and then make a magic ring. So to make a magic ring, you take the yarn, put it in your palm, make a loop around it, and then cross it over. And then you take your hook and bring it over like so. And that's your magic loop. And then you want to take your yarn and you're going to make two chains. So you chain one and chain two. Okay, now that you have made your chains, you're going to do three treble crochets. To do a treble crochet, you loop two times around your hook and go into the ring and then pull through two wrap around pull through two wrap around and pull through two that's what it should look like and make sure you go over your tail as well so we're gonna make two more of those okay now that you have your three treble crochets you're going to make three double crochets so you just loop around once and then go into the ring and pull the yarn through and go around pull through two go around and pull through two and then you just make two more and make sure you like like once you make it make sure you pull it so it like goes next to the other stitches so we're just gonna make two more okay so now that you have your three double crochets you're gonna chain one chain one and then you're going to do a, another treble crochet three loops into the ring two pull through two and pull through two like that and then you're gonna chain one another chain and then do three double crochets Also, if your um, magic ring is a bit big, all you have to do is pull on it. Okay, so let's continue making three, three double crochets. Okay, so that's three double crochets. Like that. See, so now you can kind of see the heart forming, kind of. And so now you're gonna do three treble crochets. so now that you have three treble crochets just pull on the tail to make the ring smaller and now you're gonna do chain two two chains one two 
and then you're going to do a slip stitch into the ring. So to do a slip stitch, you just take your hook, go into the ring, pull yarn out, and then go through like so. So now all you have to do is take your tail and tighten it. Also, take the yarn and do a chain. Like so. Keep pulling, make sure it's really tight. And yeah, that is the crochet heart. And to finish it, you can just, after like you do the chain one, you can pull you can cut here and then you can just like pull through or you can like cut and then pull the yarn through the loop. I usually like to cut it and then pull the yarn through the loop but you can do it whatever you want. So yeah, that's the crochet heart. It should look like this or bigger or smaller depending on your hook size, but yeah. Okay, so the next thing that I have on my list is journaling. Journaling is such a fun and relaxing way to fill up some extra time that you might have in your day to record events, your feelings, or whatever you might want. Personally for me, I love looking through my old journals and seeing what I was doing on a specific day or my feelings that I was having and other things that I might have been thinking of when I was younger. So if you don't know what to journal about, these are just a few prompts and things that you could journal about when you're bored. Okay, so number three is going on a road trip. Going on a road trip is super fun and you can make so many fun memories with your friends and family. A few road trip ideas I have include hiking, going to a national park, going to the beach, and going to a famous landmark. The next idea that I have is making stickers. Making stickers is super fun and super easy to make. All you really need is mini drawings to make your stickers out of, or you can print out little pictures to make your stickers. So first, all you really need to do is cut out your pictures and then cut around them and leave a little border. The border is optional, but I really like the look of it. And then you put tape on top of the stickers and put parchment paper or baking paper on the bottom of it and then cut it out and leave a border and then you have your stickers. So the last thing on my list is drawing. Drawing is a super fun and relaxing hobby to have and just a great hobby to have in general and if you don't know what to draw you can check out my playlist which is titled things to draw when you're bored and just basically shows you things to draw when you're bored but it also comes in themes like things to draw when you're bored winter edition things like that so i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like subscribe and share and turn on post notifications so you know when i post i'll see you guys in the next video bye